Favorite Squirrel once more, the Mad Salvi coming to you with a little bit more news and update to what happened at Ofkai. I was not expecting to make this type of update, I was not expecting to make this video, but Ofkai went and did something that no one expected. I didn't expect, I never expected something like this to happen. Of course, the reaction you're seeing is my genuine first reaction, and um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I also hope that you guys can understand that I'm trying to be as objective as I can, but, you know, I have my thoughts and my ideas that I want to share with each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much. And here we go. As you all may know, uh, False ID earlier today said this, like I mentioned, hearing a strange VTuber gets some vendor rejections from Akai Expo 2024. DMs are open. Reach out if you wish to share, even as anonymous. The general rundown of this whole situation was that Akai Expo is a VTuber or at least a kind of creator oriented uh, expo where people are, uh, well, you know, big and small, as in independent and part of uh, large organizations, they go in there and, you know, they have their meet and greets, they have their moments where they get to talk to fans, all that kind of wonderful stuff. And Nidhi Sanji EN, just like any other large organization, if they wanted to, they could mention to Ofkai, mention to everybody whether they wanted to go or not. The story goes that Ofkai already had these, th these talks going through, before the Selentatsky termination and all of the hoopla and all of the firestorm that happened after that. I mean, before that, it was months ago. They said it was at minimum six months ago. Selentatsky just happened last month. So I believe that because it takes a lot of organization to make sure that dates line up, make sure that you have everything set up for them, everything going on. So I fully believe Ofkai Expo when they're saying that it was months ahead of time. The problem that happened here is that it looked like Nirisanji EN was putting pressure on Ofkai Expo to no longer allow certain vendors to go through and no longer allow certain VTubers to go through who may have been uh, cr critical of the company in these earlier times. And that is something that, of course, would look bad for Ofkai Expo, would look bad for any expo doing any of that kind of stuff. It would not go well. And of course, it didn't look well at all. We'll just look at the post engagement that happened here. We had people, this is so weird seeing from a common regular anime con goer perspective. There can only be so many guests from a financial space and time standpoint. Featured guests are a common occurrence, even at anime ex expos and stuff like that. Sometimes potential guests will be present themselves better. Of course, other people eight hours ago is a time when two years ago with the guy had positive YouTuber news. People are, are you know, knocking him as well. A splice screenshot, people are knocking him as well, saying a splice screenshot is now subject to potentially more news deep dive into and is actually subject to more coverage based on the surface level assumptions. Um, things like I wouldn't platform either Anna or Millie allegedly being included in Selene's legal document. All these types of things happen. So people were not being happy at the fact that False did this. But I'll give False the credit in the sense that he is someone who's looking for information, who's looking to see if something is bad going afoot and i understand that i agree with that i respect that on that end off kai expo originally responded with oh you know they have nothing to do with us they have nothing uh no bad blood no bad things are going on no weirdness is going on uh nidhi sanji doesn't have any kind of uh bearing on what we do but then just two hours ago as of recording of this uh they said after thoughtful consideration off kai expo believes that recent events have resulted in an environment where theory appearing would not be conducive to a positive convention experience for any color inks, livers, or our attendees. As such, Anna Alouette, Millie Parfait, and Ray Muendo will not be appearing at Ofkai 2024. Badge refunds may be requested until April 30th at reg.ofkaiexpo.com. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. According to their own thing, they said, for the record, this was a decision made two weeks prior and has no relation to today's events and misunderstandings. Thank you for your patience. The issue that happens here, even if it was two weeks ago, the timing seems kind of odd. The timing seems very suspect. This is when theories pop out. This is when narratives pop out. This is when people start getting their tinfoil hats on and are like, something is up here. What a coincidence that after all of this nastiness that happened to them recently, they decided that they are not going to be continuing with the Nidhi Sanji livers on there. What a coincidence that this all happened today and today is when they announced it. If they had announced it yesterday and then this stuff happened today, it would have been different if they announced it any other time, it would have been bad. But also, I will give Ofkai the credit that it should deserve in the sense that when it comes to PR and when it comes to what's going on now, there's no way for it to seem positive for them. There's no way that things would be positive 
in any way. You cannot get ahead of this in PR. You cannot get ahead of this because you have already have a semi-damaged reputation because of what people were thinking, and they are going to see it negatively, whether it's a positive thing or not. People will treat it in a negative light. Now, we have people reacting. Kyo, which is a person who also does news, he's like, holy S, man. Uh, quote retweets proving the point of the announcement. Uh, this makes sense with the current controversy of Niji, but still crazy to see. Just taking the Selen Totsuki stuff from then to today, it does seem kind of coincidental. And it does seem like things are no longer a negligible amount. Like you guys are saying in the comments, it's no longer a negligible amount. You guys have told me this all the time. It's not going to be negligible. We've seen the stock hits that, that have happened with Niji Sanji. We've seen all the other hits that have happened with Niji Sanji. It's not a negligible amount. When an actual con that was going to have your livers there says, nope, we're good. We don't want that PR disaster near us, which is pretty much what happened here. We don't want people to feel uncomfortable. We don't want that PR disaster anywhere near any of our cons. That's a bad. It makes your PR look even worse than it maybe did in the past. Here it says, damn, they're really on track to be blacklisted by every convention, pretty much. There's something so weird that this I cannot place my finger on, or maybe I can. But I will sound crazy coming from thin air to just fuel those freaks that hate on the girls. See, I never put hate directly on the girls or on the people, on the men, women, and, you know, who work as livers, unless they've done something to bring that about. Like, you know, Vox Akuma betraying Selen, Uki saying his, his discriminatory stuff, uh, Elira doing the black video, all those types of things. Yes, I'll criticize people on it. Never hate, never any wishing any ill will. So remember that. Don't harass or anything like that. Negligible said by a certain person. Riku Tazumi, after seeing Afkai not allowing his VTubers for the event, he said termination of Selen would be negligible. He said that to his, um, to the investors, because that's the only people that Riku actually cares about. He only cares about investors. He doesn't care about anybody else. Continues on. I'm probably not supposed to, but laughing. It's a parade inside my city. Uh, Afkai, canceling con appearance because of harassment, plus worry for the livers and fans attending. The quote reads, continues said harassment and proving their point. I do not want this to be harassment. I do not want harassment to continue to even the Afkai people. I never even asked for harassment for the Afkai people. I was saying, leave them alone. They have rights to have whoever they wanted. A lot of times these things are done months ahead of time. So there's no real kind of thing like being, oh, you know, this is this is why it was done or they were doing it to get, you know, uh, positive vibes or whatever. Nidhi Sanji was probably doing it for PR, but Afkai absolutely was not. They don't care. I mean, they, they just want people there. Uh, uh, and it says, I feel bad for the talent, but maybe Niji will clean up its act and treat his talents a lot better. Maybe. I'm not even going to be jokingly sad about missing out when I see Niji livers in Asian cons anymore. Like, I hope all the Asian cons get the liver appearances they want and get all the fun and love ever. Yeah, if you're, if it's, if they're your Oshis and you want to see them, go ahead and see them. You know, go ahead and enjoy yourself. Go ahead and, and have that fun time with, with your Oshis. I'm not telling you to stop that. I never have, and I never will. Uki and others, of course, deserve to be uh, criticized for what they do. They deserve criticism, but no, not any hate or bullying or doxing or that type of stuff. I will say it as many times as I have to. Negligible status. Yep. According to Riku Tazumi, it's negligible. Meanwhile, and everyone else, everything's going well. I don't know if this is just an American thing, but the livers receive so much love and support in Asian cons. Just come to Asia next time. No need to go to these kinds of cons. I mean, I don't think, I think Nidhi Sandy is not going to, not going to really worry about the cons over here anymore. To make things so terrible to the point that even the livers and fans can, can't go to a con without being possibly harassed. I hope the toxic aunties are happy now. Um, I don't consider myself a toxic auntie. So, but I don't think, look, the toxic aunties are never going to be happy. The toxic aunties are not going to be happy until Niji Sanji is shut down itself because that's how it works. That's what happened with Hololive. They weren't happy until Hololive was done out of out of China, out of all that kind of stuff. They weren't happy, so they're not going to be happy. And of course, we're going to go directly to Ofkai at the end of this to show they have officially removed any notice, any mention of Niji Sanji livers. If you look at my video earlier today, the uh, the video that I did before this one about the Ofkai Expo, they were had them there. They had them there just like three hours ago. They just had them there. Uh, it's very suspicious, but I will take their word for it. And that is all I have to say on this end. And, um, you know, I'll continue bringing any new news stories that pop up. And that is all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, down below is the comment section where you guys can have your ideas spread, your information about anything else that's going on. Any ideas, if you think I was going too far, if I think I didn't go far enough, if you think I was being too easy on them, if you think I was being too hard on them, if you think that my ideas are just stupid, let me know. I want to know everything. 
thank you as well as down below my um socials are down there uh the discord server is a wonderful place that has a lot of amazing people in there it's just a place to relax away from the drama uh the general section and everything like that is drama free we want to keep it that way uh we would love for you guys to join and lastly of course the video in front of you is popping out just so you can see anything new that you might be interested in any other information that you may want to see anything going on thank you so much this is your Matt Salvi saying have a wonderful morning evening afternoon nighttime whichever one it is in your area thank you so much bye, -bye.